We're about to take you on a journey through Doobie Land. Some people call them doobies, some people call them joints, and others call them blunts. This is a story of marijuana, hash, weed, grass, or whatever you might want to call it. It's more than getting high and eating everything, it's a lifestyle. Weed has been around for ages, mostly for medicinal purposes. But before this is so openly acknowledged, we must deliver our own message. So that's what we'll do. Welcome to Doobie Land. What brought you into the movement? Um, well, I believe back in 2012, I was given this opportunity, uh -huh. you know, to, um, to jump on board. Uh -huh. I started off butt tanning. Uh, I was doing it, you know, just time to time, a couple of days a week. And, okay. um, I started getting really involved in the cannabis industry. I okay. Was, uh, uh, taking place. I was, uh, really active at high times. You oh, know, okay. And I got to interact with a lot of patients. So, uh, oh, okay. kind of, it kind of you know, motivated me and dri drove me to continue, like, to assist people. Because when you're on the other side of the counter, uh -huh. and you're helping people who have, you know, suffer a lot of depression, yeah. illness, you know, like, you, you kind of are on a different side of it. 2006, my uncle passed away with cancer. Okay. Uh, this was previous to Rick Simpson oil being found, you know. Okay. RSO, as we all know, is something that helped cure cancer, um, which was found by a man named Rick Simpson. Uh-huh. Um, and he, he uh, was diagnosed with cancer and he you know, he was able to cure himself. Okay. Being involved in the cannabis industry and seeing how the medicine helps patients okay. like, really allowed me to like continue doing what I do. And it, and it sounds like, you know, a lot of people don't really think about that side of it. Like, Maj is telling us a story where he had a family member pass away and he's here for medicinal purposes for us. Hey, to those people who say, um, you know, this whole movement is just a bunch of stoners and, and, and you know, those, those type of attitudes and, and opinions. Um, well, it's really hard for, you know, they can't really judge. It's like judging a book by its cover, you mm -hmm. know, like mm -hmm. just because you're a stoner does not mean you're, you know, you, you're, you're taking advantage of the fact that cannabis is around, you know, yeah. if people suffer from depression. You know, there's there's lots of things going on with them that we don't see, mm -hmm. but cannabis can help them. Now, there's recreational users, yeah. you know, but um, the people who use it for the real reasons, such as like, you know, just like to treat themselves on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think um, that hasn't really been highlighted to society. Mm. Yeah. That's what, you know, that's what we want to do, and I think that's what you guys are doing with this project. Exactly. Um, well, I want to thank you, Maj, because that's why we're here. We're here to educate people on the movement, educate people on what it can do for you as far as your ailment and your health. And I want to thank uh, PMC and Marj for letting us come through and have an interview and hopefully you got a little more educated because that's why we're here. This is Welcome to Doobie Land. Out. Oh! <laughs> Passion fruit, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> What up, y'all? This is Son Doobie of Funk Doobies. Welcome to Doobie Land. Right now, I'm here to give you my review about my favorite edibles. It's uh, super baked right here. It's got the white chocolate and the pecans. It's got all the like nuts and stuff in here. This is 125 milligrams. It's guaranteed to put you on your ass. All right, y'all, Son Doobie. <laughs> Boxes in the closet, you're the catch and bait. Don't forget, it's the new, got the feeling, G-Hall.